CBS Sports, and the PGA Tour proudly present to you the FedEx Cup Playoffs. We welcome you to the Northern Trust on another gorgeous August summer afternoon right here in the New York metropolitan area. It's in the 80s, not as breezy as it was yesterday and earlier in the week. There are just some vistas here that are pretty much unmatched. Just a spectacular sight. And what they have done here at Liberty National to construct this site that has not only hosted this event two previous times, but a President's Cup here in 2017, and now the Northern Trust. Some world's best competing here, but also two amateur golfers trying to secure their PGA Tour card with a victory. The loser goes Home. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. You see Matt Collin at the top. His dad, of course, won a few majors on the tour a while back. Brian Longo right his heels. The former Division Three All-American, Jordan Spieth, Roy McIlroy. A few others trying to make some noise on a Sunday. And welcome back here to CBS Sports coverage of the Northern Trust Open. Once again, Jim Nance alongside the two-time the two-time Masters champion winner, Nick Faldo. Okay. We're live. Oh, my bad, Thomas. That's on me. Just got back out, for, out of Maui. Oh, how was Maui? Oh, it was gorgeous this time of year. This is really my first stop right out of there. Well, Nick, let's get back to the golf tour. I know you're, you're a big part of yourself, and one guy like that, one of our two featured golfers, uh, Brian Longo from East Tennessee State Farming Agriculture College. He is kind of a... Great story to get behind. I know you're a big fan of him as well. Oh, of course. He's personally one of my new favorites on the tour. Really, he has a nice John Daly vibe to him. Really just goes out, grips it, rips it, beers, sigs on the course, the whole nine yards. It's really a lot to like. Well, there's a lot of fans that really don't like that vibe as well. What do you have to say to those haters? I said it's time for golf to loosen up a little bit. I know I'm still an old-fashioned guy, but it's time to start accepting some change, bring some new eyes to the, to the sport especially. It's now, great one, for golf. Well, he is, he is a good for golf right now. Tied for the lead, trying his PJ Tour card, along with our other feature golfer, Matt Collin at the University of Texas. You play with his dad on the PGA Tour. What can you say about Matt as a golfer? You're right, I did. You know, Matt, he has that pedigree from his father, but they're two completely different golfers. His father, he really had that short game down, but Matt, he really can put a hurt on that ball off the tee. Well, definitely he can. And what are you excited about going into this week? In our final round, Matt and Brian trying to duke it out in the Northern Trust. Really, just the two, two completely different styles. Matt, he has that pedigree. He's by the book, University of Texas. Meanwhile, Brian, just a scrappy guy, really. We'll try, maybe he can get in the head of Matt throughout the course. We'll see throughout the day. Well, definitely. Once again, that's our pre-game show. We're going to meet the two golfers next, Matt Collin and Brian Longo here on the CBS Sports presented by Bradley Cafe. Cheers, Thomas. We're joined by our featured golfer now, one of our two featured golfers, Mr. Brian Longo out of East Tennessee State of Agriculture and Farming. Brian, thanks for joining me. Cheers, man. Thank you for having me. Uh, Brian, I know you like to have a good time out there on the golf course. Um, your guy likes have a couple beverages, a couple cigarettes, a little bit of everything. Tell us more about that. Yeah, you know, back in the when we grew up on the farm, we used to have our cigs and our beers on the farm. So I like to bring it out on the course with me, you know, here and there. Um, I like my caddy to get involved with that too, so I have to make sure that he's doing the same thing. Now, there's been a lot of kind of feedback from a lot of these old-time golfers. Um, they're really against that. You know, a guy named John Daly, about 20, 30 years ago, kind of similar guy to you, from the South. You know, you like to have your beer, your ice cream, your Diet Coke and all that. A lot of people don't like you on the golf course. You know, you get some booze sometimes uh, from the gallery. What does that mean for you? Sure, sure. You know, John Daly, a big inspiration of mine back in the day. Definitely got me off the farm and into golf, looking at a guy like that. I think they got to just shut the f up. You know, this is a sport. We don't have time for that. But granted, I mean, golf is more of a higher echelon class, and a lot of people will applaud you for, for doing what you do as well. Um, what do you say to those people? I just tell him, you know, I'm out here to play well. I got my caddy with me. You know, he drinks a couple of beers too. We're going to have a good time. We're going to put up a good score, hopefully, and we'll see what happens. All right, let's talk about you and the golf tournament so far. You've been red hot, although there have been a couple blow up holes. You had recorded four quadruple bogeys so far in this tournament, but you have fired back with a boatload of birdies and eagles. I mean, what's going on out yes, there? Yes, sir. Um, you know, when I run out of cigs, you don't have those blow up holes, but, you know, I'm back out there. I'm trying my best. I got the cigs and those beers going, and we'll see what's going to happen. You know, the pressure's there. 
you know, I, you know, growing up on the farm, you know, you used to, we'd be worried about the crops going bad. I feel the same way about golf. If I got blow up on one hole, we're done. So we got to see what we can do. Well, you got to bring home that bread. You're the breadwinner, Brian. I mean, come yes, on, sir. you got to, you got to eat. Your family's got to eat. Yes, what would winning an event like this do for you in your career? You know, it really bring me to the next steps. You know, it'd be life changing. Maybe get some more sponsorships. You know, maybe Bud Light, a company like that. So I don't have to drink Natty anymore. But we'll see. Big fan of Natty Light at all? It's pretty cheap. You know, I like it. All right, well, that's going to do for us here in the booth. Don't forget, we're sponsored by Bradley Cafe here on CBS Sports. Next up, we'll have Mr. Matt Collin. Jim Nance once again here on CBS Sports. Inside Butler Cabin here on the PGA Tour on CBS Sports Network. Again, joined alongside now Mr. Matt Collin. We talked to Brian Longo uh, earlier. And now here, Mr. Matt Collin. Tie for lead with Brian here in this week's event. Look at a little background about Matt himself. Golfer, senior golfer at the University of Texas down in Austin. Of course, Jordan Spieth played down there. A lot of famous PGA Tour golfers compared to Brian, who played at East Tennessee State of Agricultural and Farming. Matt, I'm going to throw it to you first, okay? You're the son of a PGA Tour golfer, played 20 years, and if you win this event, you get your tour card. What would a win like this to get your card and follow your footsteps do for you? Yeah, I mean, it would mean a lot. Uh, I grew up watching my dad play, um, being around, you know, the bunch of different events that he would play in, uh, being able to practice and, and see the work that he and, and other, you know, players back then put in. That uh, was very helpful to me. Um, and, you know, being able to be, you know, on the tour like them and seeing that all the work that I put in um, got me there would be something really special. Um, so I'm looking forward to to that and hopefully I can get it done this week. Now you're playing in the final round of this PGA Tour event. This win again will get your PGA Tour card. You're playing with Brian Longo again. Both you guys are amateurs, still in the college ranks, um, but really you guys are a total 180 of each other. Brian's a little more, let's get the crowd pumped up and you're kind of more relaxed and laid back. I mean, there are a lot of guys that don't respect Brian inside the ropes, inside the clubhouse. I mean, what do you think of your competitor you're gonna be facing tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, uh, he's definitely different. Um, not to say that that's a bad thing, uh, but he's definitely a little different um, growing up from a, a non-traditional background. But that's good for our game. We need to expand the game of golf uh, from just being guys like me, um, you know, country club players. So being able to have him drink, uh, you know, smoke cigs and all the time, uh, it's really good for, uh, for golf. And, you know, hopefully it draws more fans. We'll see yeah. what happens. What do you what have you seen on your week so far? You're a guy that's a par and birdie machine. Not much really over that Brian, more of a quadruple bogey guy, but an eagle machine. Um, how can you compete with Brian on the course tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, we're both tied going into the lead, so he's obviously played well. Um, but I'm not going to think about the way he's playing. Uh, that's 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 not going to dictate how I play. I'm just going to focus on each and every shot. Um, you know. Be aggressive when, when when it calls for it, and pull the reins when when I got to. But well, definitely for sure, Matt calling everybody out of the University of Texas. He'll be matched with Brian Longo from East Tennessee State of Agricultural and Farming. Matt, good luck on the course tomorrow. Thank you. We get you out on the course on the par four fourth. Till we catch up with one of our leaders here, Brian Longo. See the first three days of work. He's got the big stick in his hand. Now well, we'll catch the fairway. So you do drugs, kid? Yeah. How often? A couple times a week. Good, good. What I like to hear. Next up, we got Matt Collin at the Allen Green on the par 3 eighth hole. Got 152 yards. Should be just a nice, comfortable 9-iron for him. They're going to go nuts when he hits this thing. <laughs> An ace for Matt Collin on the Island Green. That will get the crowd going. We're about 100 yards. 100 yards. 100 yards. Now we're here on the 13th, par five. Uh, Ryan Longo in somewhat of contention, but he's got to catch up here. 54 work? That yeah, should do it. And pull my beer, sir. Give me another one. 
No, we, we'll just go over there and drop it. No, nope, give me another one. Alright, you're the boss. Here, Brian Longo has put it in the water, and now a little bit of discussion with his caddy, but he wants it another here. I don't know what he's doing. Come on. Alright, one more, one more. Come on. Nope, nope, Brian. give me it. Nope. This nope, give isn't me the good, ball. man. Nope. Alright. You, you do you, man. I'm done. This one's for all the marbles. Matt Collin lining up his putt on the 18th. They're trying to win. Northern Trust and clinch his PGA Tour card after Brian Longo raced back with three eagles and two birdies. Well, we're waiting. Colin wins, Colin wins, Colin wins. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta get out of here. This place is blowing up. We're heading out. So long, folks. Jim Nance alongside Sir Nick Falco. Until next time. <laughs>